so uh, I got into editing this to post it on a comment on Facebook on one of the posts I made on Facebook and I decided you know what this is a valid YouTube video <laughs> and it really it is so uh, a while back I posted and I was going through my memories on Facebook today I'm sure you're all familiar with that uh, I posted that hey you should never let your car get below three quarters of a tank of gas and back when I posted that was very relevant uh, relevant relevant thank you <laughs> it was very relevant here's the the thing um, the thing is is uh, you never know what's gonna happen and Daniel shout out buddy <laughs> Daniel said there was a gas station where he buys gas they found water and I remember back in Bakersfield and I never even thought about this aspect of it back in Bakersfield we had like some of the fast trips would add water into their gas tank to up the the quantity and I don't know if employees were stealing gasoline and didn't want it to show on the meter I don't know what the deal was but the thing is is uh, you never know what's going to happen and you're going to buy that gas anyway so when you get down to three quarters of a tank one quarter of a tank gone right go top off it's only going to be like 20 bucks today's prices my thing is is for uh, what two weeks we watched prices go through the roof and, and if you bought gas as you were going along if you bought gas as you were going along you didn't see as much of that price increase because you didn't have to top your tank off from dead flat empty uh, inversely electric cars you know people well how long does it take you to charge it if it's dead well don't let it get dead I do that with my gas vehicles too so I do that I think you should do that um, I'm not I, and, and this this what you're about to see is more me practicing what I preach it, when I saw that post I went, oh and then I was going through it and in the comments when I made the post I think it was about a year ago I went out right then and there to my car and uh, I showed where I had almost a full tank you know I had more than than three quarters of a tank because that's what I do so what you're about to watch now is when I saw that post I reposted it and went, hey this is even more relevant today especially if you're in California you're looking at the gas prices uh, this is even more relevant today uh, we're looking at supply chain shortages coming down the pipe uh, I don't know how that's gonna affect gasoline my thing is I want to be able to get around and uh, mama's car I wish that dog had stopped doing that she barks at everything and it's, she's showing off for me is what she's doing but anyway uh, mama's car gets like 40 to 50 miles to the gallon we got a little blue motorcycle out there that gets like 70 miles to the gallon if I really have to go get groceries on that thing I can uh, the Pathfinder I'm averaging 28 and a half miles to the gallon driving Uber and Lyft driving people to and from places around town that's here in town uh, the speed limits are lower here and uh, people don't drive like they do in Bakersfield so my fuel economy is way up if you're racing to the next stoplight you stop doing that pulse and glide go smooth go easy don't go that fast anyway fuel economy is a big deal I'm um, getting you know between 25 and 30 easily around town here because people don't drive like Los Angelinos who recently moved to Beckerfield okay that's the truth I, you can you can hate me all you want that's the truth people here there's a few of them I'm gonna say two three percent drive like total friggin morons and uh, I suspect they may have came from California I don't know but uh, most people here drive smooth they drive easy you know they don't try to go around you because you're coasting the last uh, third of the way to the next stoplight they just oh okay and they kind of just stay behind you and they're, they're cool because they see it's red too you know people here aren't idiots they're not city it's like they are in California so we get better fuel economy around here in any car anyway uh, that's me preaching I'm gonna show you where I practice it I just did this all within the last 30 minutes posted the thing Come on, man, do the thing. Come on, man. Uh, just to prove it, you know. 
<laughs> I just did this all within the last 30 minutes. Saw the pose, did the thing, went out to the cars. So here you can watch it. It's me practicing what I preach. I highly recommend you do it too. Or don't. I don't give a crap. Uh, food, ammo, i.e. rice, rice and beans, band-aids, ammunition, and gasoline. Those are good things to have on hand. Yes, those propane tanks are full. I fill them up before they even need it. Uh, when I've got two down and I've got one on the burner and that was the heater that, that the dogs slept by all winter and it got cold here believe me I wrote a picture in right here <laughs> it got cold a few nights but uh, yeah I definitely keep that stuff topped off you need to too you never know and I'm not talking about nuclear wars I'm not talking about you know you know it, it could be an earthquake especially in California you get that 70 71 72 Overpasses are coming down, guys. High tension power lines are coming down. You will not be driving through town. You're going to be on foot for a while, and it may be a while before you get power back up and running. You got a generator? I got a generator now. Dad gave me a generator. Thank you, Dad. Give me that generator. I'm going to use it. That thing's going to be handy. I got all the two stroke oil in the world. I can turn every drop of that gasoline into two stroke gas for that generator. A little two stroke generator. I'll do a video on it. Um, also coming up, you saw Gringo Viejo here in a minute. Uh, Gringo Viejo is set up to go camping, just like uh, the Pathfinder used to be, and uh, it's a pretty cool setup. So that's the third tier of my uh, my three tier bug out system. That is the bug out system. My my EDC videos. I have the bag ready for the next EDC video, and uh, I just have a couple others to make. This was just an impromptu. Thought I'd share it. I hope you guys are doing this. Uh, if you're not, man, get ready because it looks like things are going to get weird. So, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I uh, hope you're doing well and I hope you're doing what I'm saying here because it's the bare minimum, guys. It really is. Catch you later. Enjoy. Hi, buddy. All right, so I'm going to make this as quick as I can. Uh, I just saw a post on Facebook that was a few years old and I need to mow the yard <laughs> uh, talking about gas and keeping your tank over a quarter of a gallon I am uh, recording this at come on yeah Tuesday the 26th of March April whatever The original post I got into the Pathfinder I showed where right now at this time I have a full tank and I have 22.6 miles on this tank 459 miles of range um, but to be honest I don't keep anything in this car anymore um, this is the vehicle I use to make money with Uber and Lyft so I'm driving Uber and Lyft X and XL and uh, there is nothing in this vehicle except for the door pockets have bottles of water and in the very back 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 uh, those are usually down in the very back 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 underneath the floorboard you have uh, more bottles of water the receipts for the fuel that I keep for the the business so this isn't really gonna count oh parking brake back on the one that counts <laughs> is a gringo viejo let's go check this out real quick so something you gotta understand about uh gringo viejo he's been through a lot uh in his life with me he's been through a lot the fuel gauge does not work. The fuel gauge reads 50% all of the time. Uh, and I am too cheap to pull it down. What does work, and I've used this method on my motorcycles forever, is the tripometer. I reset the trip on every tank of gas. This truck gets 10 to 11 miles to the gallon, and if I go conservatively, if I go conservatively, uh, 10 miles to the gallon so I've used a little more than a, a half a gallon of gas there um, I'm approaching when it says 10 miles that's about a gallon I've used 
life and that's the way it works so uh 2001 dodge ram i think it's got a 26 gallon tank or something like that and then also and then also oh man I keep an extra five in it all the time. And then I have, hi, I have more, uh, I have more fuel cans that can go in the back. I can literally double the range of that truck right now. So, uh, and it's four wheel drive. So there you go, no mail. We don't have to run away from California anymore. <laughs> Cheers.